This week, Ling Suan Chun Li, I'm Zhu Jufeng. It's Christmas weekend, and Merry Christmas to you all. Christmas has always been one of the most important shopping holiday seasons for the United States and Europe. In many countries, it's estimated that a quarter of all personal spending takes place during the Christmas shopping season, which starts as early as October. Every Christmas, retail sales send strong signals of economic status for the next year. This Christmas season. The United States and Europe have cut back on their retail spending. Shoppers are keeping one eye on a potential economic recession in 2023, and the other on the stubbornly high prices even after some typical holiday discounts. If the shopper is a stock investor, then the recent stretch of market downturn is not helping for their shopping mood either. Retail sales numbers fell 0.6 percent from October to November in the U.S. Furniture, cars, electronics, and home and garden stores also fell. American spending has been resilient with a strong jobs market and several rounds of government cash handouts. But after 18 months of high inflation and higher borrowing costs, U.S. consumers are forced to do two things. Number one, they're digging deeper into their savings. The U.S. saving rate declined to its second lowest level on record in October. And number two, they're borrowing more with their credit cards. Total credit card debt jumped 15% in the July to September quarter, according to the Federal Reserve Bank of New York. The biggest jump in 20 years. The picture is similar in Europe. The UK's retail sales dropped by 0.4% in November against a forecast of a 0.3% rise. The cost of living crisis forces households to cut budgets, even with Black Friday and World Cup discounts. In Germany, Christmas retail sales is projected to be the worst since 2007, according to the country's retailers' federation. That's after October retail sales plunged by 5% compared with last year. Besides double-digit inflation, an energy crisis, and Ukraine crisis that has lasted over 300 days, also weighing on shoppers' minds. All these indicate that 2023 could be a year of weak global demand and even recession, especially in the U.S. and Europe. Where they are faced with the repercussions of printing too much money, provoking geopolitical conflicts, and promoting trade unilateralism, China has also been affected by weaker global demand. November exports fell by over eight percent compared to a year ago. That's why China has to stabilize its real estate sector and boost its domestic consumption to make up for the decreasing overseas demand. We hope next Christmas we can see more shopping and a better world economic order. A peaceful and a joyful Christmas.